Good morning. Welcome back to DIY Willie. Today, uh, we got some projects to do on the front here. And uh, it's a, if you haven't seen any other videos, it's a 2008 Nissan Frontier Crew Cab 4x4 with the 4.0 V6. And uh, it's got a Titan Swap front suspension on it and a rear uh, add a leaf in the back uh, with uh, Bilstein shocks and Pro Comp shocks. It performs very well. And uh, I've filmed a lot of it in, the, in my videos and I'm gonna to continue to do modifications to it. And today, well, we're gonna put on some hood hood strut supports, I guess you call them. Uh, I don't know the technical name for them, but uh, we're gonna put them on. So here we have the kit. And the kit comes with some miscellaneous brackets and uh, the parts where the uh, struts connect to you know they connect like that on there and uh <laughs> there was no instructions in the box but i mean we'll figure it out i've had this kit for a while it's been sitting up in the garage there could have been instructions at one time but i don't remember um i think it's pretty straightforward i've seen a couple of the pictures of installing it uh this kit was purchased off ebay and uh i mean it seems pretty complete so uh, these brackets, let's see, let's find the right one. These brackets mount, oh, I almost dropped it. These brackets mount right here. And then you take these bolts off, put these brackets on. And this other bracket, I think it'd be this one. It mounts, I believe right here, I think. And then the hood strut would go kind of like that I guess something like that so we're gonna figure this out and get it put together yeah it would have to be there anyway we're gonna get the brackets mounted and get this kit put on oh one thing that's that's different about my truck or this truck than this kit doesn't accommodate for is I have these lights mounted up here on the hood and they actually bolt to one of the hinge bolts and these brackets I made these brackets oh man like three four years ago and uh, it bolts here now, I've already tried to install this kit once before on the other side and there's not enough threads for this bracket and that bracket so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I think I'll show the install of putting it on there without the light brackets on there. Just so you can see how easy it goes on. And then we're going to have to figure out something for the brackets. I may have to weld the brackets, the light bracket, the light mount to this one. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to do that. But we'll figure it out. We got time. And uh, yeah, hope it all works out. Okay, so I'm going to get some tools out and we're going to get started on putting in those brackets. So we've got the brackets and uh, the brackets really, you know, I don't have the instructions and they don't really have a side or marking or anything of what side they go on. So what I believe, what I believe is, is they'll go on, I don't know if you can see that, they'll go on with uh, this piece. I don't know what you call it, but we'll call it the little ball. The little ball on the outside like that. So uh, this would obviously be the driver's side and this one will be the passenger side. And then this one here, when you look at, at this bolt here, this bracket attaches to that bolt. And uh, well, this would obviously be the driver's side so we'll put these two together and this one will be the passenger side. I don't know what these are for. I think these are for a different kit, uh, for a different vehicle, along with these uh, extra balls here too. So we'll just leave them there for now. Now, I think for, for my installation, when I go to put it on uh, with, the, with the light mount bracket, I'm gonna use different nuts and these nuts uh, the thread is a little bit closer to the edge so it grabs and what happens is there's not when I go to put it on there's not enough threads here 
for the factory bolts or excuse me there's not enough threads for the factory nuts so by using these nuts now in any any other installation the factory nuts will work fine but for my installation because i have those light brackets there i have to change the nuts on the bottom and those uh those bolts that are in there or those studs that are in the hood are an m8 uh 1.25 thread so the the uh, m8 125 nuts work perfectly so uh yeah let's get this install going and uh get it done okay so looking at the fender bracket it mounts right here on the side of the fender now the fender bolt is a ah, excuse me so the fender bolt is a 10 millimeter and i've got i've got that right here we'll just go ahead and take that out Get that put back in with the same hardware factory it's got a little hump in the that follows the contour of the fender so it'll kind of align itself we'll just torque that down i don't have a torque spec but tight is good click click i think that's pretty good right there bottom brackets installed now the top over here a 12 millimeter and i'll change my ratchet for that one Okay, like I said, the top ones over here, they're 12 millimeter. And you'll see when you take this off, there's a little line. And that keeps, if you follow that line when you loosen these bolts, because there's a chance that this could drop down. And when you tighten it back up, your hood won't be in alignment anymore. And the camera's shaking. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, there's a chance that your hood won't be in a line anymore. So uh, if you follow this line, you should have it back in the same spot. However, when you put this bracket on, it's really hard to see that line, but uh, you can do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Put the nut up there. And you can see my bracket here for the light. It doesn't really move I'm just kind of holding it with my thumb and then I'll put the bracket on the bracket goes across both studs we'll get this one on straight away first go ahead and tighten it up I don't want that hood to move and you can kind of see right here you're following that line it's on there and the bottom one now normally you would just put the factory hardware back on and uh, let's see, I'll put the factory hardware back on. Now normally that would be as far as you need to go. And you could put the rod on and uh, you call it done, right? But I have this other bracket. So I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna use the factory hardware on the bottom one, on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, use the eight by eight, the M8 by one, two, five nut. And uh, I'll put my bracket back on, hold it up tight, get the nut started. And that nut is a 13 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. I wanna strip it. Get it to where it's tight. Oh, it's scary. That's nah, probably good enough. The light's solid. The hood is solid. Yeah. Now you could put a little bit of Loctite on that one because I don't have a lock nut or I don't have a lock washer. But I didn't do that. Make sure this one's tight. We're good. All right. 
Now let's put the cylinder on. So the cylinders also, they don't matter if they're right or left or whatever. And I believe that they go in this configuration with the uh, rod part down. Now I went ahead and I pushed them in because I wanted to make sure they operate. I just put it on the tire, gave it a push, and they did, they went in. So it's got this little spring clip inside, goes right here. Now, when you go to take these off, you'll have to remove the spring clip, but I believe installing them, you can leave the spring clip in place. You just gotta give it a push. You know what? Let me put some grease on those. Let me put some grease on them. I'll be back. All right, so the rod just snaps into place. It was really easy. So it fits really nice in there. It did open the hood a little higher, so that'll give you more room to work. Um, I did also put some lithium grease inside just to lubricate the pivot points, and I'll clean up the excess later. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll show snapping the rods on. As we did before, we'll put this one on. I also have to take the prop rod and this piece off, but we'll do that once we get the other pieces on. And uh, whew, it's warm over here. And um, yeah, let me put it on there. As we know, the fender bolt's a 10 millimeter. And we'll just go ahead and do that one right now. Again, these, these uh, brackets center themselves or they align themselves in the hole with this bead that's on the fender. You'll see when you install them. You just run the bolt down. Get it good and tight. Torque it, click, click. That's about right right there. Now the other ones, the fender or the hood mount is the 12 millimeter. Go ahead and crack the bottom one first. say make a quieter ratchet. Ratchet makes a lot of noise. Oops, I didn't get my light bracket out of the way. Just place the bracket on there like so. So after I got the install done, I went ahead and I took the hood prop rod out. And basically the hood prop rod is held in by this little, uh, I'll call it a grommet or plastic clip. And I just took my screwdriver, my screwdriver like this, I put a little bit of this towel up here to protect the paint. And I just kind of pried it like this until it popped out. And then once it pops out, it's got a little bit, you're gonna kind of roll it out like that. And you see it comes out, this is that little thing. It's got four little clips on it that hold down to the fender that holds the prop rod in. And uh, that removes it. Okay, for the holder, for its store point, a little clip that goes up here, kind of the same principle. It's just got little clips on the side. And uh, what I did is I took the screwdriver and I just pushed them in on the bottom. I just kind of pushed the clips in and pulled up and it popped right out. Now it didn't damage it at all. I'm gonna put these parts in the box and uh, mark what it is. And if, if these struts break, I can always take this kit off and uh, you know reuse the factory stuff. Should work perfectly. So uh, the install is done. The extra parts are out and it looks great. I've already wiped up the excess uh, lubricant I put down there, the silicone or the uh, lithium spray I put down. Um, the only thing I, I'm gonna do myself and I would probably recommend is these cylinders you know they're gonna get dirty 
uh, you can see how dusty and dirty the engine gets you don't want these cylinders getting dusty and dirty as well now when the hood is closed they're going to be up inside the cylinder so that'll protect them somewhat but i'm going to do when i change the oil on the truck uh I'm going to go, or even when I check it, maybe, you know, how often we check it or when I change it, I'm going to come back by, clean these off, maybe with some uh, WD-40 or some other cleaner, and then re-lubricate them again with uh, like a silicone grease or more of this lithium grease. You wouldn't want to keep the, the WD-40 on there because that would, WD-40 is kind of like a cleaner as well, so to clean it off is good. I want to make sure there's something there, so I'll put probably silicone spray or more of that lithium grease on there so that it has something to slide on it. Maybe it'll help protect the seals inside here a little bit uh, from the dirt and the dust. Yeah, look how sweaty it is out here. And uh, yeah, this one looks good. I like it. Let's see how it closes. All right, let's see how it works. How well. So grab the hood. Look at that. Goes down nice. Closes. Very nice. Let me open it again. opening it how well it works oh wow look at that oh man that's a big improvement over the old prop rod I like that you know I picked those up on eBay and I think it was like uh, 60 bucks it wasn't bad and very easy install we'll see how long the struts last I don't know if they're the best quality I really don't say I don't see any brand on them uh, we'll see how long they last and if I can find a replacement um, but yeah, it works really well. Um, I'm impressed with the quality of the brackets and the install was simple. I, like I, I didn't have any instructions. I just basically saw the picture of <laughs> that I used to buy it from and uh, installed the kit. And uh, I did make the change on the bottom for those different nuts because I have those other brackets on there for the off-road lights. But man, I mean, it works great. I really like it. Doesn't feel like there's too much tension on the hood. And it holds it up nicely. I was afraid it might be too tight and it might bend the hood or crease the hood. But no, not at all. Very nice. Well, I call that another DIY Willy project successfully completed. A good upgrade to the uh, 2008 Nissan Frontier. I believe those will fit uh, all the way up probably to the 2020 uh 21 even maybe the 22 is a different design i couldn't vouch for that i haven't seen the hoods but i'm sure it would probably work all the way up through at least to 18 or, or even to 20. so it was a good easy install uh, the parts shipped quickly and uh man i have nothing more to say so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh subscribe if you haven't already I really appreciate that. I know I know it's an easy thing to do and if some people forget to do it, I even forget to do it. But uh, leave a comment. Leave a comment about the install or anything else you may see in any of the other videos. I'll leave a uh, link in the description for the parts and where I got them. And uh, well, it's been a great day, beautiful day. Uh, thanks for coming, thanks for stopping by, checking out my videos and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.